Come on in, grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab a seat and come eat with me. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab a seat and come on eat with me. Hey everybody, thank you for watching MRTV. I am Maria and I would like to thank everybody for coming. If this is your first time coming, thank you. I appreciate you. And if you like what you see after this video is over, feel free to subscribe. Hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. Get us with a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know I'm new, you know, all that good stuff. I love talking to my family members. So today, I'm excited. Look at here, y'all. Can you see? Can you see? Oh my goodness. I done made me a spaghetti volcano. <laughs> That's what I said it was. I got the cheese coming around on the edge. I put a hole in the inside with the melted cheese in there too. Mm, with the toast. Let me see here. Let me get this out. Let me see. All right. Don't know how that's going to turn out. Okay, so today I am doing a challenge. I am doing scents from Scent and Mo challenge that is called Eat Without Ruining Your Lipstick. So I don't ever even really wear lipstick. I think I only wore it once when I did Miss Sugar's video. Normally I just wear lip gloss. So mm, I put my little here so I can see when it go off. You know, I brought my lipstick. I want to make sure. You know. All right. There you go. So, I got my lipstick on. I got spaghetti because, first of all, it's Adrian from Adrian's Cooking and Food Review. They even got me eating spaghetti. If y'all don't get over there and look at his spaghetti video, I made this because I saw his. Period. So, the rules are... Um... <clears throat> You have to eat this in eight minutes without ruining your lipstick. So I'm supposed to look just like this after the spaghetti. All right, that's the plan, huh? Um, eat the spaghetti and they're gifting everybody shot glasses who participate in this challenge. Not everybody, they're gonna pick. Let me get that right. They're going to, you know, pick a winner from everyone that did do the challenge to get one of their shot glasses that they have that are gorgeous, okay? Um, you have to be done done the challenge by the 13th, if I'm not mistaken, that's what Sin said. Um, so I'm like, let me get it in. I'm trying to get all these challenges in. I'm already, oh my gosh, sweating. I can't sweat and eat. I got to turn that air on. I am so sorry. I can't. Y'all know I can't. Every room in this house is hot. So, all right, let me get my blessing. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I don't have my drink. Wait a minute. All right, so, had to get my drink. Had my watermelon juice here. All right, so, like I said, we had to do this in eight minutes and not mess up our lipstick. Alrighty. And you also have to tag Scent and Mo. Alright, and I also got me a little ranch. I like to put a little ranch on there sometime. Let me get my blessing. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this food that I'm about to receive me in Son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Alright, here we go. Let me push the timer and get it going. Alright. Amen. Guess where I was at 9 o'clock this morning? Kroger. Mm -mm. Kroger. Mm 
And this is no judgment, none of that. I'm just asking for opinions just because I want to know. Curiosity, that's all. All responses that are respectful are welcome, please. Okay, so do you think Children should call their parents by their first name. Like my son calling me Maria. Mm -mm. I ain't gonna have no lipstick. Like my son calling me Maria. Do you believe it's okay for children to call their parents by their first name? branch or everything. I do. And I could ask a come for one I heard mm -mm. Oh. for one I heard a little boy down the street from me called his parent by their first name. Instead of like, you know, like he was like, you know, uh, whatever, Karen, whatever. You know, I don't know what the name was, but he called her by her first name. I was like, mm-mm. I'm going to tell you something. Now, this is just the way I was right. You might have knew they first name. But the only time you was to use it is if you was telling somebody what their name was. And really, you couldn't do that. <laughs> mm -mm. It was like we was raised like, mm -mm. that's your mom, your dad, you know, whatever the name, you mommy, daddy, whatever. My aunties, always been my auntie. Never by their name. I never would have said, Hey, Odessa, how you doing? Oh, my God. If I would have, I wouldn't be sitting here today with these front teeth. Huh. Mm -mm. I just wanted to know what your opinion was on that. And if you think it's okay, just let me know why. But I ain't no judgment, like I said. I just wanted to know, you know, why you say, well, it's okay, it's fine. I think with me and my family, they didn't play it. You gonna always know your ground. And where you stand within the family. We didn't call the adults by their first name. It just didn't happen. Unless they was like cousins or something. But no aunties, grandparents, or parents were called by their first name. If I had called my grandmama Ruby. <laughs> And my grandmama, I was telling my husband this earlier. I had to have a grandmama that she sat on her couch and she would be knocked out because you know she was up ever since about 4, 3 in the morning, about 4 in the morning. So, she would be on the couch nodding. But she always kept a big stick <laughs> in between her legs. Now, it wasn't for us. 
But she didn't play. If she was not on that couch and we went to go try to run in the house and run past her, man, that stick came out like bam. And then she'd be like, and I done told y'all to stop running in here. You don't run in the house. Went off for that talk talk. Now you are. For real. And I'm happy. You know, I'm glad. I think it teaches you a sense of respect for your elders. You know. Mm, I done licked my lip. I done washed my off. Oh. Mm. Adrian, thank you. Because hmm. I just didn't know what I was going to do this challenge with. I really was thinking about doing it with a Whopper. Because, you know, you can't eat a Whopper neatly at all. Not if it's made right. Mm -mm. If your whopper not sloppy, it ain't made right. <laughs> For real. Although they're nothing like they was 30 years ago. Nothing. None of the restaurants. Come on. Mm -mm. My timer about to go off. But they're here. CVS to pick up some stuff. All right, they got my eight minutes. Let me get the chrome though. Well, I'm trying to show y'all. No, I think I did pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit off on the bottom lip and a little bit off on the top, but I did pretty good. But let me tell y'all first, thank you, Sent, for tagging me in this. She tagged me in this on Instagram, and I appreciate it. I love you guys, I love your channel. Everybody, please, I don't even know why I'm saying this because I'm sure you already know Sent and Mo. If you don't, get over there, Sent and Mo, C Y N T. In Mo. Send Mo. Great couple. Lovely couple. Love them. I got to get me one of these shot glasses. Whether I, if I don't win one, I'm getting one anyway. Just because. You know, you just want to help out when people doing stuff. I did the challenge, so I'm going to get the shot glass. There you have it. Mm, mm, mm. But now that the challenge is over, I went to CVS real quick, y'all. I'm gonna let you go to get some personal stuff. But every time I go somewhere like CVS or Home Depot or or Walmart or whatever. I always get some paper towel and toilet tissue. and never fail. If with the limit is two, I'll get two. I just don't want to run out. How come they had toilet tissue for $23.99? What? I had to walk up up there. $23.99. You know, I'm thinking maybe it's for the whole pallet of toilet tissue. Because <clears throat> it was on a pallet. Because I know y'all not asking for $23.99 worth for us to pay that for some toilet tissue. Uh, uh, CVS, please. I just know it. I said, oh no. Y'all got me messed up. I'm not paying that. I'm not paying it. Nope. You could, I don't care if it was a 24 pack. 
I don't even remember what size pack it was. All I saw was $23.99 up at the top. And I had to check and make sure that was toilet tissue. Because, you know, sometimes they leave the signs wrong places. You know, and you forget to take the old sign down. Oh, no. That was toilet tissue. And then I think they had a, a roll of paper towel for like $5. It was the jumbo roll. What? Where they do that at? $5 for a roll of paper towel? Man, I'm about mm -mm. Not going to happen. Now, here in um, Detroit, it seems like our CVS is closing down. Are they closing down where y'all at? And we had one CVS that closed down, and they turned that into a family dollar. And I think they're about to do that to another CVS that they closed down here and turn them to family dollars. Did family dollar buy out CVS, or are they one entity like? Do anybody know? But come on now. $23. Y'all price gouging me with no Vaseline. No Vaseline. Just price gouging. Just dry price gouging. Oh. Guess what? I use this paper towel before I buy $23 on some, um, pay $23 on some toilet tissue. And it's not like a lot of toilet tissue. Like if I'm getting an abundance like, I wanted to buy enough for about a month or two. Okay. $23.99. That's fine. But now that I'm going back in a week. Oh, no. I'm in the bathroom when people go in there. Like, you doing one or two? Hmm. You say you're doing number one? There you go. Wouldn't want you to get too much. $23.99. I mean, you're doing number two. Oh, yeah. Number two. No problem. Got you right here on the number two. You know, $23.99. There you go. You got you a good sheet right there. Don't use it up too quick. <laughs> I ain't messing around with these people now. Come on now. They're doing too much now. For real. I had to buy some bamboo tissue the other day. I ain't never bought bamboo tissue. Like, what, 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 what? I, I got it because I look, excuse me, I love bamboo. But that's what they had, so I had to get it. And that was like, boom. That was like $10 and something for the bamboo tissue. And I think it's like six rolls in there. I just can't, y'all. I can't. But, I'm going to finish all my food. Thank you, Sam. This is a great challenge. know y'all trying to be so you might not know exactly what's going on on these YouTube streets with the you know smaller mud bangers but I put people in the book but guess what I won't have to put you in the book boo I'm so happy because if this had been a bad challenge oh I had to put scent in the book and I hate this scent so sweet and nice. I would hate to put her in the book. Then I know Mo coming because he ain't going to let her go by herself to the book. So I got to put him in there too. So let's not do that. So keep the challenges nice. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Thank y'all. Please check out Sitting Mo. Everybody have a great day. Oh, yeah. Remy boy.